Look at that. We actually have a silver looking coin. Let's pull this out and see what we have here. Oh, wait a minute, guys, hold on a second. You just have to see if it's attracted to a magnet to determine if it's silver. I have a magnet right here, and this is the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Hello everybody and welcome back to Quinn's Coins, your home for treasure hunting of all kinds. Now as you guys know, I do a lot of coin roll hunting on my channel, specifically penny roll hunting and nickel roll hunting, but today I want to venture into a coin that I have never hunted before. And that coin of course is the quarter. So as you can see, quarters come in these nice orange boxes, $500 a piece. And if you open them up to reveal the insides, you would just have rolls and rolls of quarters, 50 rolls in total, $10 a piece. What I'm gonna be doing today is opening up the rolls of quarters in this box, looking for interesting, valuable, and rare coins. Specifically, I'm looking for pre-1965, which would be a silver quarter. And I'm also looking for the 2019 West Point quarters. Of course, there's a bunch of other coins to be on the lookout for while I'm going through these quarters. I'll try to explain those along the way, but without any further ado, I'm just gonna jump into this box, my first box of quarters, and see what we can find. All right, so as you can see, I'm not exactly set up to hunt quarters here. I only have this nickel box to put the discards in and I don't really have a quarters placemat or anything like that yet So I'll just be using my nickels placemat. Of course, if you want to get these for yourself Quincecoins.com is the place to go. But anyways guys I'm just gonna grab the first roll here and we're gonna jump into this first roll of quarters Which I've ever done on the channel live and to be honest guys This is my first box of quarters ever even off camera I did used to hunt these a little bit every once in a while uh, when I was getting quarters for laundry But uh, that's pretty much it so looking at these coins right here, uh, it looks like every single one of those coins is going to be clad. So no silver in this roll, unfortunately. And uh, from what I've read and from what I've seen from other coin roll hunters in the community, it is pretty uncommon to actually get silver uh, in a quarter roll. But basically, since we know that the silver is out of the picture, uh, at this point, what we're going to be looking for is those 2019 West Point quarters. I guess I'll go ahead and open another roll just to see if we get anything. That roll was definitely a bust. Um, and I'll explain another coin that, uh, at least as a kid, I used to look out for quite a bit. They're not exactly rare, but uh, I will be keeping my eye out for them anyway. All right, so on this roll, guys, you can see that there isn't a whole lot going on. Once again, a lot of clad coins here. This one is sticking out over here, though. It looks a lot nicer uh, than the other ro uh, coins in the, in the roll. So I just want to pull this one out because I think that this might be a newer one. And it looks like right here we have our first 2019. So it is a newer one. It's uh, about as new as they come. And uh, here we have a chance to get a West Point coin. So if I flip this over and see a West Point mint mark, then that will be a good sign. Let's see what we have on the reverse in three, two, one. All right, so as you can see, guys, we have a Denver mint mark right there, right below in God We Trust. You can see the D, that stands for Denver. Uh, the other possibilities are P for Philadelphia, S for San Francisco, which would make this a proof coin, and then, of course, the W for West Point, which is what we're looking out for. So let's just dump this one out real quickly uh, and just briefly go through it. Maybe there's some uh, 2019s in here that uh, look a little bit older. I always like finding the Michigan ones as well because that's, uh, that's my home state. But uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and explain a little bit about um, just kind of how many different varieties of quarters are because there's just so many quarters. It's a little bit overwhelming uh, to the average person. So basically from 1999 up through 2008, we made the 50 state quarters. Then in 2009, we made the territory. So I'll see if I can find any 2009s. That is another thing that uh, sh you should be looking out for as well as I think 2010s and 2011s were like just as rare as 2009, so that's another one uh, that you should be looking out for. And here we go, I just found my first bicentennial quarter. Like I was saying earlier, these are uh, some of the coins that I used to um, uh, collect as a kid. Uh, we call them drummer boy quarters, so that's what you see on the, on the reverse side there. But on the obverse, you actually see the double date, 1776 to 1976. That signifies the 200 year anniversary of uh, the United States gaining their independence. So it was a pretty cool coin, especially as a kid, I like to see those. And I think I ended up with like two full rolls of them uh, just by getting them out of vending machines. So I will definitely be putting those to the side, even if it's just for sentimental value, I still think it's cool. And it looks like we just got another one of them. This was actually an ender, but we had no idea. I guess the day was probably uh, obstructed by the roll. 
But there we go, two, uh, two bicentennials in the same roll. I think that that's a pretty cool thing to see. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna get into some more of these. I'll turn the camera back on if I get another 2019, and especially if I get a silver. All right, guys, so I'm a few rolls later now, and I had a few 2019s pop up in this roll in particular. We had the low L one, which we saw before, and then we also have another one here. What does this one say? American Memorial Park. So these are the uh, reverses of all of these coins. Now let's flip them over to see if we're gonna get any W mint marks. Nope, not on that one. That looks like it's gonna be a P. How about this one? Nope, that's gonna be a D for Denver. Another P for Philadelphia and it looks like we have another Philadelphia there. So it looks like these coins are as hard as they say uh, to find. Uh, there's tons of coins mixed in with these uh, uh, quarters here though, and uh, I'm sure that we will end up finding something interesting. Uh, one thing that I wanted to point out, I know that there is a variety, it's actually a quite popular variety uh, in the Wisconsin uh, quarters. I'll just put it up on the screen uh, over on the left-hand side so that you guys can see uh, what to look for. But basically, you're looking for an extra leaf on the corn stalk there, and uh, I can tell you right now that this one does not have that extra leaf. I've seen those coins go for $100 or so uh, in coin shops. Probably would have to be in a little bit better condition than this to get that kind of money, but uh, that's definitely one you wanna look out for, and it's very easy to spot uh, with the naked eye. So I will keep looking, guys, and I'll let you know what I find along the way. Okay, guys. I am 10 rolls later now, and I have a few things over here, but the reason that I stopped and turned on the camera was because I saw this when I opened up this roll. The third one from the end right there definitely doesn't look like a clag quarter. The weird thing is, it doesn't really look like a silver quarter either, so I'm not sure what to make of this. Uh, it definitely has the color for a silver quarter. It just, there's something that doesn't look right about it. So I'm thinking this may be a Canadian. It could even be a different foreign coin. Either way, we're gonna pull this out and find out here in just a second. So let's take a look and see what we have. I'm really hoping for silver, maybe even foreign silver. I would take that as well. Come on, get out of there. And what is it gonna be? Okay, so yep, it looks like it's just going to be uh, a foreign coin. I kind of thought that because it was a really weird uh, shape. It was just a little bit smaller than a quarter. I thought it might just be hammered in, but uh, I'd say the edge looks at, like it's in a little bit too good of shape for that. So it, yep, it looks like it's just gonna end up being United Arab Emirates. And then uh, I guess I can't really read much else on that coin, but it's an interesting coin anyway. I'd be interested to see uh, what the value of this coin is in American money. I'm sure it's not worth anything uh, as far as collectors are concerned because it looks fairly modern. So it'd probably just be like the equivalent uh, of a United States quarter uh, to the United Arab Emirates. But anyways, that was a little bit of excitement. Uh, I kind of had my heart going there for a second. As you can see, it doesn't look like there's gonna be anything else in that roll. So why don't we go ahead and check some more of these 2019s, which I just pulled out. I did want to show you that I did find another different variety here. This is the San Antonio Missions 2019 quarter. So let's flip this one over first to see if we have a W. Oh, whoa, look at that, guys. What in the world? We got a San Francisco on this one. So would that make this a proof, I guess? I don't know, dude. They actually make uh, 2019s in San Francisco for regular circulation. That'd be pretty bizarre. So I think this might actually be a proof coin, but it doesn't really look like it. Maybe it came from a special mint set. I'm not really sure. But anyways, uh, I do want to drive home that you typically don't see a San Francisco mint on a regularly minted uh, four standard circulation quarter or any coin for that matter that's uh, that's modern. So that's pretty crazy to see. I will definitely be putting that one to the side. It's not what we were looking for, but uh, I'll definitely take it anyway. So here, I'm gonna grab these by the edges. Don't wanna touch them with my uh, fingers and get oil all over them. So let's just flip these one by one, see if we have a uh, West Point. So that one's gonna be Philadelphia. Let's flip this, actually, let's get them upside down here. And Philadelphia for that one as well. How about this one? Philadelphia. And we have three more here. Philadelphia. And are we even gonna get a Denver here? Philadelphia, that's five out of six, and Philadelphia. So 
there you go we didn't get any 2019 w's we didn't get any silver we did get a foreign coin and we also got a 2019 san francisco san antonio missions i will definitely have to look that up you guys let me know down in the comments below what you think this coin is or how rare it is that is an awesome find right there and uh, we're not even halfway through the box so i'm excited to keep going let's see if we can find that silver all right guys we just hit the halfway point in the box and i have a few finds to show you before we get into the second half so let's start off with all of these drummer board quarters right here i think there's about nine of them and uh, that definitely goes to show that they're not rare or anything uh, i just like to keep them for sentimental value but as as you can see it might start getting a little bit pricey all right so we also have a few 2019s i think i actually found the remaining two uh, uh varieties that i was looking for so here you can see we have the river of no return and then right here we have the war in the pacific so let's flip these over to see if we have uh, a w nope that one's going to be a philadelphia and that one finally is breaking the Philadelphia streak and that's gonna end up being uh, a Denver. So I'm ending up uh, just throwing these 2019s back if they don't end up being uh, a W mint mark. I'm just gonna check all of these ones that I have right here to see if we have just real briefly because I've seen that uh, they're definitely more difficult than some people might think to find. I have not found a single one yet. So let's just check them real quick. It looks like they're all, all almost all Philadelphia's and that does make sense. I usually find more Philadelphia coins uh, than I do Denver just because of my location here in Michigan. I also wanted to show you some of the 2009s that I've been finding. Uh, I always say on my channel that 2009 is always a good year to keep in any denomination, and that is true for quarters, but it's actually uh, a little bit more complicated than that. As I said earlier, 2009 encapsulates the District of Columbia plus all of the United States territories. So we got DC and Puerto Rico right there. Uh, but what I was trying to say earlier is that you also want to look out for the 2010 and 2011 quarters. Those are just as rare, if not even more rare. So definitely want to be on the lookout for those as well. Uh, I did show you guys uh, some of the varieties that I've been looking out for. Another one right here uh, on the Kansas quarter, if you flip it over to the backside, sometimes you will have uh, over here on the right where it says in god we trust on the right of washington there sometimes that t will be faded away so much that it actually says in god we rust and uh, this is sort of a good example of it right here uh, you can still see that the t is clearly there However, it is a little bit faded out. The reason for that is due to a grease error where grease got in between the machinery and the coin and uh, caused this effect. So this isn't a great example, but look, if I put it in the light there, it actually kind of disappears and makes it look as if it says, in God we rust rather than in God we trust. So that's kind of cool. Uh, just a slight grease error right there. I will be pulling that one out just because I don't have any better examples. Another really cool coin to be looking out for uh, is the 1990. Delaware. They actually call it the spitting horse because I believe it's a die crack that goes from the mouth of the horse over to the edge of the coin, uh, which makes it look like the horse is spitting. So I have been looking out for that one as well. I haven't found anything of the sort yet. And then of course I had another uh, example of the Kansas quarter over here. You can see the T on this one is quite a bit more apparent, so that wouldn't really be anything uh, to keep around. But anyways, guys, we have another half of the box to go. I will get into it and let you know if I find anything good. All right, guys, so just as I said that, I got into the first roll of the second half, and I think you can probably see the coin that I'm looking at right there. A nice silvery edge, and uh, I'm really hoping that we end up getting silver on this coin right here. Uh, because we had a chance earlier on it ended up being a foreign coin this one actually looks like it might be the size of a american quarter so let's take a look at this coin right now i'm just going to pull it out by its edge and as you can see this is what i was afraid of it ended up being a canadian quarter uh, which is worth i think something like 20 21 cents uh in american and let's just flip it here to see what the date is going to be on that one 2006 is the date. So I'm kind of surprised that these actually make their ways uh, into American rolls. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the composition is different and the weight is different as well. Uh, but uh, they do every once in a while make it into the American rolls and they give you some false hope for sure. They definitely look silver, uh, but they are not. And I can kind of tell just because this one looked way newer than uh, what a typical American silver coin should look like. 
based off of the edge. But I will be putting that one aside. It's still kind of cool to, you know, get a little glimpse of hope every once in a while that you might get silver. Uh, as far as other coins in the roll, I don't really see any. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn the camera off now and I'll let you know when I find something good. So we are now down to our last roll of quarters in the box. I'm very quickly finding out that a nickel box was not meant to hold the entirety of a $500 quarter box. As you can see, we have quarters just spilled everywhere all over the table, but I'm excited to get into this last roll. This is our final chance for silver on this box, and uh, I'm hoping it pans out because uh, I was having some high expectations for these quarters. No, not really. There's actually a very difficult to find uh, silver in quarters, unfortunately, but guys, look at that. We actually have a silver looking coin. Now this might end up being a Canadian once again, but if this ends up being a silver and I'm actually looking at the reads on this coin, it looks like it may actually end up being a silver. So I'm really excited right now. I think we may have actually got one on the very last roll. And if we did, that is beginner's luck unlike anything else. Let's pull this out and see what we have here. Oh my gosh, my heart is going right now, guys. I can't even grip the coin. Oh, come on. It's just a Canadian. My God, but it's, it does look like it's a little bit older of a Canadian. It looks like somebody damaged it for some reason. Maybe they were mad that they didn't get a silver too. I mean, I, I was kind of thinking about it as well, but geez, I thought we had one there. My God, it would have been great. Oh, wait a minute, guys, hold on a second. Okay, this is a 1968. Now half of the 1968, it, it might be more or less than half. I don't remember exactly. But uh, a certain percentage of the 1968 Canadian quarters are actually 50% silver. Uh, now, I think I've actually seen this before, where people will scratch the coin in order to indicate that the, it is not silver. I need to figure out a way to test uh, whether or not this is going to be silver. But just looking at the edge, guys, I was really thinking that we had a silver coin. And I'm still kind of thinking that we might because it doesn't look like your typical Canadian quarter edge. I'll grab the one that we found earlier for comparison. Take a look at this. So as you can see, there's a big difference in the reeds on the coin. Uh, this one has much wider reeds, and uh, I think it's a little bit thicker in general, because of course, I, I believe that uh, the 2006 coins here are actually made of steel. So a big difference in uh, composition, whether or not the coin is actually uh, silver or not. But uh, I don't know, guys. This is this is a hard call right here. I'm gonna have to figure out how we can find out whether or not we have a silver coin. That's a 1968. Could be silver. Could not be silver. I wish it was American, because then we would know for sure. But uh, anyways, I will put that one to the side. Let's see if we have anything else in the roll. Uh, I saw this weird looking like yellow edge right here that I don't think is gonna be anything. It looks like it's rusty. If anything else. Uh, nope, it's just going to be a 2018, so nothing too crazy right there. Unbelievable that we had that coin come out in the very last roll. I am super stoked about it either way because it was definitely exciting. My heart's still kind of going from it a little bit right now. But anyways, guys, uh, just finishing up looking through the rest of these coins, I have a bunch more 2019s over here that we're going to take a look at in just a second. Also got a ton more of those drummer boy, boy, uh, drummer boy quarters. There's another 2019 I will pull out and put to the side. Uh, of course, looking for all of the 2019s, and I did look this up earlier, guys. 2009 through about 2012 is a very rare uh, era for American quarters, so anything in there has a good chance of being rare. Uh, I did pull out a few more 2009s, also got a couple uh, 2012s, 2011s. So I'm just gonna group up all of these 2019s now because I wanna check to see if we have any W's or uh, any San Francisco's for that matter, because we did get one of those earlier. So we'll just do the same thing that we did earlier. We'll just check them one by one. So that's a Denver, Philadelphia, 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 Denver. What is that? That looks like a Philadelphia just very faint so it was hard to see Philadelphia once again and Philadelphia we have a few more here let's just check these real quickly to make sure that uh, we're not missing any W's or San Francisco's there's a Philadelphia Philadelphia Denver that one Philadelphia Philadelphia 
Philadelphia, Philadelphia, and oh, that's the last one. All right, so I guess we didn't get any of the 2019 Ws, but that's okay. There's only 10 million of those in existence, so it's pretty pretty low chance that we end up actually finding one of those uh, in our first box. There's all of the Drummer Boy quarters. I will show you guys at the end here exactly how many of those that we got. Uh, here's our 2009, so you can see right here we got another Puerto Rico right there. This one's Guam. That's a little bit harder to find. We got another Puerto Rico, and then right here, uh, this one's not in very good shape, but uh, it is the American Samoa. So those are pretty cool as well. Uh, we'll definitely be looking out for those when we start a coin quest series. I think those 2010s, 11s, and 12s are going to be pretty difficult to find. I think we have a few more uh, 2011s and stuff. I think I'll save that for another episode though to show you guys that. Uh, I did find another Kansas quarter though with a pretty weak T on that In God We Trust. It looks like right there you can see it's a uh, Kind of looking like In God We Rust. It's not the perfect example though, but it is cool to find two of those in the same box. So I will put that one to the side as well. Uh, I'm just gonna do some real quick research here to see if I can figure out whether or not we have a silver Canadian coin so that I can say that we actually got a silver coin on our first box. Uh, so I will get back to you guys in just a second and we will figure that one out. All right, so I just did a little bit of research pulling out my Coins of Canada book here and flipping to the Canadian Quarters page. Here we have the 1968. You can see that there are two varieties, like I said, 0 0.500 silver and pure nickel. And it looks like they were split up about 50-50 and there's a little bit more uh, of the pure nickel variety. And these are in millions minted. So you can see right here, uh, 71 million of the 50% silver, 89 million of the pure nickel. And it says, during 1968, the composition was changed to pure nickel. The nickel specimens are slightly darker in color and are attracted to a magnet. So the key here is that the 1968 non-silver variety are attracted to a magnet, whereas the silver variety are not. Now, typically, uh, this isn't a test that you can perform, but in this case, it is super simple. You just have to see if it's attracted to a magnet to determine if it's silver. So I have a magnet right here, and this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna bring this up to the quarter and see if it sticks. Three, two, one. Unfortunately, it does stick to the magnet, so we do not have uh, the silver variety and uh, like I said earlier I kind of figured that only because there are scratches on the coin I have seen people actually do this on 1968s that are not silver which I think is kind of a bad practice I don't really appreciate um, uh, destroying coins like that even if you are mad that you didn't get silver I really don't see a reason to put a scratch on it uh, as long as you have a magnet nearby you can figure out what you have and uh, that's what we were able to do here. I'm still gonna keep it though. I think it's a really cool story and uh, a fun coin to find for sure. So I will be putting that one over here. And uh, with that being said, guys, that's pretty much it for our first box of quarters. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely look out for more quarters videos in the future. I'm actually coming out with a brand new placemat very soon, which is gonna have your dimes, quarters, and half dollars, all of the coins that are typically associated with silver stacking. I will have those up and ready for sale on my website at quinscoins.com. Hopefully, uh, within a few weeks after this video goes live. So definitely be looking out for those. And once those are ready, I am gonna start a Coin Quest quarter series. So be on the lookout for that as well. I'm very excited to be starting the Coin Quest quarter series. Definitely let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more quarters videos before that Coin Quest series starts, I'm all game for it. But anyways, guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because we post new videos like this every single week, always bringing you along with the hunts and having a good time and as always i'm quinn and this is quinn's coin signing out and i will see you in the next one